Okay, welcome to this tutorial which is going to demonstrate how we can add contour lines to a mesh. The first thing you need to do is you need to draw the contour lines with the drawing tools. So uh, you can see I've got the um, plan open and I'm going to draw myself some contour lines to represent uh, the edge of the uh, cutout for the driveway here. So go to the line tool, down the document and find the polyline command and then while you're in there draw yourself some lines to go from oh, somewhere there and every time you click it's going to put an editable point as a contour line so I'm just going to about I don't know, 6 or 7 to finish the polyline just click back onto itself and then we've got a nice clear red line there and we can add that line now to our, con uh, to our mesh now the only tricky part with this is you need to be in the mesh tool so I go get out of that function by going select the arrow come down to mesh while the mesh tool is selected come up to edit select all meshes now that all the, me uh, the meshes are selected we can now add this contour line by simply um, depressing the spacebar moving the magic wand over that line and clicking once it will now ask you to fit that line to the new ridge you say OK and you can now see here we've got points have been added to that mesh uh, along that line and every time I clicked with my mouse you can see it's added a new point now it's probably for uh, visual purposes a lot easier to then edit these points in 3D so what we'll do now is just jump into the 3D window and get a bit of an idea of where we are I'll just do this, you can see there's a block there and zooming out a bit still that's it and what I might do is actually just change the colour of that that uh, mesh there, the top of it being orange is a little bit ordinary uh, so I'm just going to do that quickly grass looks good and these are the editable points here so what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the outside edge of the mesh at zero but these points here, if I click and hold on them and if in the pet palette pops up, I think it defaults to drag but if you choose Z then you can move that point up and down in the Z range so it's going to make it 3 meters high it's about the height of that wall out there and then you can see it triangulates the three closest points so I'm going to grab the next one as well lift it up, make it a little bit higher and we can create uh, a ridge that that retaining wall kind of represents obviously we can get a bit lower as we get further away from the you know, tennis courts and so on okay if we just go back and have a look at that with the orbit tool and you can see it's starting to take some sort of shape okay so that's pretty simple and hopefully uh, it's of assistance to you